Good morning. Well, today we're going to have a revisit to the peregrines again and see whether or not they're fledged. But of course, on the way, I'm going to go round the circuit first. It's nice and early, so let's see what we can get. So, a young hare, that's called a leveret, and over the years, we've only seen a couple. They're very, very difficult to see. Um, and the couple that we've seen have been quite big until a couple of days ago around the circuit when we saw a baby and it was absolutely fabulous to watch and uh, of course ended up getting an image of the baby stood at the side of its parent and it looked fantastic a good few um, videos back i was doing a walk during lockdown and it was around my local patch and I ended up being at a, a, a well in a field that I'd never been before um, but I've said that it was absolutely ideal territory for a barn owl well last night we ended up going back towards there we couldn't get really close to uh, the field but there was a barn owl quartering so um, I managed to get a, a little bit of video of that it was a distance I've only got my 400 5.6 on and we're quite a way off him um, but I was only doing that as a as a bit of a walkabout lens to be fair but what I need to do is get set up in that corner with my 600 f4 and let's see if we can nail some shots it's always nice to see a bar now I never tire of them, and I don't think you will. Oh, he's just gone down. After watching the barn owl, what happened was we decided to, it was about quarter to ten at night, we decided to go back round the circuit, see what we could see. And um, there was a couple of uh, little owls up on the telegraph poles, so. Uh, I did try to uh, video them. I couldn't photograph them. It was far too, it's far too dark at that point. But um, let's see whether or not something come out. Well, it's not a great picture, but on that telegraph pole, there's a little owl. I'm sorry, I'm not on a tripod. I'm just hand holding it from the car. I'll see if I can get a little bit closer. They've just flown to another one. Two. Oh, and there's actually, if we follow that down there, and we have a lot to focus there, there's another one on that pole. So we're just passing along the circuit and the red leg partridge that we saw the other day, he's back again on his little mound. So there's the little owl sat up in the tree around the circuit. Okay, so we're um, at the Peregrine site now. You see behind me the building that the Peregrines thinks is a cliff and the four chicks have fledged. So that's one week on and they have fledged. So uh, apparently we can see three of them. One they can't find at the moment. One did fall off uh, and go and went into the little river. Somebody's fished that out. So if you can see the grey building behind me, this small building, there's just been one on there. That's the last one to have fledged and it's been sat there. I've just got a few shots of that, so I'll show you that. Okay, beautiful things. There's hardly any down on them at all now. The, the fact that it's a week on since we last saw them, the condition of them are fantastic. Thank you. 
So what will happen when they do fledge, they'll be able to fly a short distance, but the thing they've not been able to practice is obviously their landing. And that's been the problem here, is we've had them in the car park apparently, on the, on the ground, is the one that's over on the small building. There's one that's been taken from the river, it fell in the river, it, it got scooped out. You can only just recognise them now as youngsters. You can see a little bit of fluff and down just poking out between a few feathers, but mainly they've actually uh, gone fully fledged. That's the male there. And that's the female there, yes. Yeah. So at the moment we've accounted for the two adults and two of the fledglings. So that's the adult and one of the juveniles. The adult's just bought in a uh, something looks like a sparrow. So that's the young one again, he's exercising his wings. So what's happening at the moment is we've identified the adults, the male and the female. They've been bringing um, sparrows and starlings in. There's two at the moment of the young ones. They've been identified. One stuck on that um, little building, uh, which I've just shown you. The other one um, isn't showing at the moment, but it has been identified. Apparently, Three of the four have been identified over the last couple of days. Okay, well at the moment I've got two of the fledglings in sight and I've got one of the adults. So as you can see, that's a different elevation of the building and they've got all this to contend with. really dangerous territory for them. And then they've got this to contend with, a really busy road. This road is so busy. And of course, on their maiden flight, they can land on this road and then there's all sorts of problems. As it did, landing in the car park, just in the distance to where I'm showing you now and yeah as you can see it's quite treacherous for it because it's absolutely surrounded with water so the maiden flights of those fledglings 
are always problematic. So this is another angle of the building and that's where they've been falling off. These are the bays that they was actually bought up on. And the trouble is when they drop out, they drop out into that water there. And luckily someone was with a net when one did fall in there yesterday.